add to the stream. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Different format. Different format this time. You guys get to look into my house. Our light's a little off, but that's okay. I got a solution. Let's see if this helps. Hopefully that gave us a little more lighting. Yes, it is. A little tiny bit. My name is Tamika C. Williams. I'm the creator of Love Inspired Teach E. And just want you guys to know, we are pre-recording Tuesday's broadcast for the Light Fire Starters podcast. Guess who's, I shouldn't say Bazak, but he's bad Bazak in my life. I, I just need y'all to know, like I've known him, you know. The funny thing about good people is, you don't have to see them all the time to like be able to connect with them. You just pick up right where you left off. And that's really? the type of relationship we have. So uh, we have long history. People don't know the people that I know and that's intentional, but I'm changing that, right? I'm sharing this with y'all. I want you to meet none other than Mr. International. He said he's a party starter, MMA champ, Johnny Gordon. You can go no harder. You can train no smarter. <laughs> Yes, y'all know me. I'm Shoni Carter. <laughs> Jules, we are recording, my love. Oh, here comes my son, my sunshine. So, um, I did turn off my live, and that was good because you know what? I forgot. All my questions are on this. <laughs> so, we might have to edit that part out a little bit. That's okay. Um, but, what is that? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be doing too much. It's, it's okay. So I gave the brief intro, but there's so much more to the, him as a person of, of just the world. Yes, Mr. International, but I want you to tell us what we didn't already know, what we should know, what we need to know. Okay. Well, other than the whole punching people, throwing people, choking people, and speedos on pay-per-view. <laughs> I voluntarily like wearing speedos. <laughs> but seriously, I'm actually having an art show June 19th at Chicago MMA at 1528 North Halstead. There's a documentary being done on my life and career is coming up and also working on pilot episodes for a talk show regarding the old days, the the wild, wild west days of MMA. So, yes, I've got TV shows, documentary, art shows. Uh, I'm, I was trying to actually get onto a fight card in Bangkok, Thailand to do bare knuckle boxing or kickboxing. And I trained at Chicago MMA and Sam Colonna Boxing and Apex House of Grappling. I'm a father of four, a grandfather of one. And there is of December 12th, 2021. Sorry, ladies, I'm off the eligibility list. Y'all had a whole 50 years to find me. <laughs> and that leads me to guess who had a birthday? It's Taurus season, baby. We need, we needed shots, but we're behaving for now. We'll get the shots later, but cheers. Happy, Come happy birthday. Happy 50th. No, meanwhile, motion mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I take Japanese. My kids are always like, Mommy, why are you doing that? I'm like, because I like it. You have to. Why do we have to? Because even when specks of dust are collected, they form a mountain. And at the top of every mountain lies the bottom of another one. That was a lot. Y'all caught that? There, there lies another one. We build. We build. That's what that's about. I got it. I don't know about y'all. So let's go ahead and get this podcast started for real, for real. I mean, we're always partying. It's all, always, the energy never dies. Bet. Black Eyed Peas the love of death. Hey, we're going to show you a highlight reel, and then I have a little song for you. Actually, shall we do the song first since we're partying? Do what we do. Let's do what we do. We're going to play a little song for you. Since uh, I gotta get the uh, uh oh, we're still recording with you, don't worry. I just gotta get the song up so we know what we talking about. This is not the right song, is it? Yeah, this is it. Hey, it's my James Brown. Hey, hey. 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 he's 
did pay that cost. If y'all didn't know. Look at me. Nobody see. You don't know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. All right. We have to give you a little preview of that. But moving on, we got to go ahead and show you the highlight reel. So bear with me, y'all, while I switch to the next video. Uh, share so, my screen. 29 dislocations and breaks in my hands. My left elbow was dislocated twice. My right elbow was dislocated once. I've had a, a frighteningly high level of concussions. And people have often wondered, what do you mean a frighteningly high amount of concussions? Well, if I've dislocated my and broken my fingers 29 times, I'm just going to say this. I've had more concussions than I have dislocated fingers and broken fingers. But I can recite some of the noble gases. I can recite the amino acids, recite the citric cycle, and I can recite body composition equations, and I draw pictures. I know north, south, east, and west. I'll tell you five times <laughs> throughout the day. Oh, my goodness. All right. We are sharing the screen so that you all can see. Mm -hmm. I will tell you a bunch of stuff you've already heard from. <laughs> all right. You guys can still see us here. Yeah. And then... That, that first part y'all see, that's a young showing. How you figure? I had hair on my head. <laughs> it was not a ball spot. I don't think. Yes, I can still do a one-handed car wheel because I saw it on TV and I tried it. <laughs> You're like, like, let me test it out and see if I can do it. <laughs> I'm going to point out a little liquor for a fourth fight. I like throwing people versus knowing people. There's no Otoshi, there's Kuranage, there's another Yoko Otoshi. That's a Yoko Gary with an unshareable second tail. Ron L. Chiyama watching Gary to a spin back then. And this just tell you I'm stronger than you. I'm going to leave left and run for Adrian Solano, UFC 28. Get that wash again to you don't know what you get. It's a goshi. This is another floating hip technique called Uki Goshi. And it's my getting to you don't know what you get to your Yoko Otoshi. I was big on your Yoko Otoshi. That was just some stronger than you so I have back up. That was a right Goshi. That was that was Tanya Toshi, my wife is getting. That was one in the front wheel. Don't be jealous, you genius. <laughs> I'm athletic and black. First, Ura Nagi. That was in Tokyo. That was Yoko Getty. That was. That was. Uh, just me and Jordan. That was a uh, spinning back fist. Extreme Ura Nagi. That was Koshi Garoma. That's how Prince and Donald got famous for doing it, but I did it when he was a teenager. I left muscle. That was a Bangkok brawl. Look for the ocean. Don't walk up with me. I'm going to throw you to know you. I put that dude just taking head shots that way. Yeah. I know y'all wonder, like, did you really do that? Was it a stuck double? I can sit my own thing right here. You guys can wait all day. I'm a tourist. Like, you're a tourist. Oh my God. That was a real kick. I'm going to watch you get your photo shoot. Here's a hint. Rock and William will throw you. That's classic ground and pounds. That's going back to this. Y'all know about it. Booyah. Booyah. Watch you watch again. Booyah. That's the first one down in MMA. 
And that's the fifth way I should. With the Speedo, I'm trying to find Speedo to be a sponsor again. So I want to get a bunch of Speedos with flags all over the place. What do you mean again? What happened? Sponsor? They didn't, they didn't they, want to keep doing it? No, I actually found them Speedos. I want them to be a sponsor. And people often ask me, what sticks out in my mind? A frightening high amount of concussions, and I can still recite things. So we're back to just us here, me and my family. Oh, I'm, this I'm is... allergic to alcohol. So. <laughs> Lies, you too. <laughs> Lies, you too. Oh my goodness. All right, so that's the highlight reel. I love that he could tell us so much about the moves and what he was doing. And supposedly we're talking health and wellness, but we had yes. this discussion before we started. Yes. Honestly, anything we talk about on the show, we can make it fit whatever topic we want it to. We can make it about finances. We can make it about uh, relationships. But we said we'd talk about health and wellness, and the spirits are good for your health and wellness. Contrary to what some people will tell you, whether they have an MD or, or an attorney general or something, everybody needs balance in their lives. But skip all that. We're going to get into talking about the MMA champ here. Because... Yeah. How can we not believe we're going to touch on health and wellness if I just ask him this list of questions, these fabulous questions he gave me? Because these are things that people don't think to ask or maybe they don't get to cover or they assume people already know. So let's just start here. So why and how did you get into fighting while you were enrolled in college? Well, first, where were you enrolled in college? I started off at Triton Community College and I was an all-American wrestler. I was only fourth in the nation. I was on two more teams. And so then I earned a scholarship to Carson Newman University, and the guys there didn't really believe my pedigree. Compared to what it is now versus what it was then, I knew it sounded unbelievable to say that I was on two world teams. I try, I'm planning on trying out for the 96 Olympics and Greco Roman wrestling. Well, my friends were shocked because I actually tried it out for the 96 Olympics, and I tore my anterior cruciate ligament like a few only two months before the trials. So you tried out during college is what you're saying then while you right, were enrolled. Right. Gotcha. And okay. if I had not torn my ACL and won my semifinal match, I would have been ineligible to continue to wrestle for college because I would have been on the Olympic Library team. Wow. Yeah. And furthering that forward, if my friends didn't believe me that I could do what I do. Mm -hmm. So my brother actually showed up I begged and pleaded for him to take me to the Olympic trials because I was also in the U.S. Marines while in college and no one believed me. I was actually a U.S. Marine trying out for the Olympics and Marines is tough. I don't well, know why people would have believed that. I, I laughed because my whole entire life I do stuff on a whim. I joined the Marines on a whim. Um, I would do stuff just because I wanted to. So I went to the uh, trials. I placed fourth on the torn ACL. On a torn ACL. Just my wanted to make sure y'all can hear it. In case his voice isn't carrying, mine will. Yeah. Anyhow. Torn ACL on my left knee. Mm -hmm. So then, then this thing called street wrestling, street fighting tournament was in town. Jefferson City, Tennessee. That's where I went. <laughs> I went down there and called it Tennessee. So <laughs> when I heard about it, and I told my ACL, and my wrestling coach forced me into a red shirt year because I went to the Olympic trials. I tore my ACL. I so I did the, the street fight tournament. And it, I won't lie, it was one dude. His name was Bubba. Another Bubba, dude, no, no, just kidding. Yeah, there was another guy named Q Ball Johnson. Q Ball was a bald black guy. And I'm like, bruh, that's dumb. Because <laughs> you know you got the pre-fight show meeting and everybody was like, and who are you? I'm like, I'm not the dummy named uh, Q-Ball who's black. You should be eight ball. The eight ball is black. He should be, I point to some random white guy. And I said, he should be Q-Ball, you should be eight ball. What do you say? <laughs> they were not happy. <laughs> you said, your life sounds like mine. People uh, get unhappy with me when I'm like, I'm gonna actually say what I, I don't think. know about this whole filtering <laughs> thing. 
this whole thing. Politically so, correctness. Yeah, yeah. Political correctness. We don't like that. No. But let's move on. Go ahead. So <laughs> after all these years, yes. why do you still want to compete and not just coach? Like you've got, wait, y'all can't see it. Hold on. I'm going to have to go ahead and do a little movement. What? You've got all this. That's metal. Just, I know, but that's no. Just... You got y'all. Do you see that one? We mixed okay. it with the art. Yeah, there's dimensions to this. Here's another one. This so why? Well, I have an ethos versus a model. My ethos is in spite of, and in spite of my age, in spite of distractions, in spite of shortcomings, in, sh in spite of losses. Do I still have it in me? Do I still want to do it? Can I still compete? Do I still enjoy the travel? Do I still enjoy the pain? I am but the grind. And <laughs> if y'all don't know what that means, if you ever saw a movie with uh, Rundown with The Rock, and it was a part in the on the plane, and the, it was an Irish guy flying the plane, and he said, but the grind. And you're like, what? Well, he actually said, there's bulls on the grind. And then, what? There are bulls on the ground with Tauruses. We are woody woo! Taurus season, baby! So, Wait, I like how you make that Taurus sound. Yeah, yeah. Bulls on the grind. <laughs> and so I embrace the grind. And you're like, what? Embrace the grind. Embrace the ground. No, embrace the grind. So I've embraced the grind. And I want to do it because, one, it keeps me healthy. I shy of having December 12th, 2021 occur, I would eat like crap. And you'd get mad if you saw me shirtless because I'd have a belly with abs and lats. And then yeah, I'd be mad at him too. And <laughs> literally, I would be, I could run seven miles. Now I would stop a drink of Pepsi and wash it down with some ice cream. Was it eat ice cream washed out of the pits? Either way, it went down. That's not fair. And, and literally, I would go hit the bag for 45 minutes. Okay. Then I would go wait for it. Okay. Well, so, you yeah. did something afterwards. That, that yeah. explains a lot. I, I don't My understand. caloric metabolization rate is maximized through the anaerobic threshold process, known as the glycolysis cycle. And if you didn't understand what he said, you weren't a pill pusher like me, because I was a pill pusher way back when. If you've been watching the show, you know, I. After college, I decided to be a pill pusher instead of going to banking because I was an economics degree and I was like, yeah, do blue, that other blue for that company that paid me some money. Anyhow, back to you. I'm yes. sorry, because that was the nerd in me. It was like, yes, health and wellness, metabolism. Yes, let's do it. Anyhow, Tough nerds. Hmm, nerds are great. We we run the show behind the scenes, or we make the people with the big bucks look good and then they pay us good. Either way it goes. We nerds. So, uh, are you afraid of getting seriously injured? I, I mean, you just told us all these injuries, but I guess those weren't serious, so explain well, it to me. Well, okay, okay. Because I think a concussion is serious. I just have to share that, especially because, you know, my brother Kyle, yeah. he's had a lot of concussions, and the football players, they'd be fighting about it. And right. So, just explain it to me. Just break it down. I'm, okay, comically serious. I'm I get that. I am built for this shit. Oh, and, yeah. but. The thing is that I tell people that I try to make sure that I manage, diminish the potentiality of what could end me. Because what that what? can kill me keeps me alive. And people ask me, why are you not afraid of pain? Because pain is temporary, pride is forever. Mm -hmm. And if it don't if, if your body don't burn, you don't learn. Mm -hmm. And if I get hurt. I can walk out your your home, miss Q on them steps, fall down, hit my knee on that concrete or the metal stair, and tear an ACL. And while I tear the ACL, bump my beam, my cerebellum, onto the concrete. That's a repro, actually. Mm -hmm. it's uh, anyway, never mind. I can hurt my head. We were following you, though. Right. And I got to bump my cere cerebellum and my cerebellum. But never mind that. So physical pain such as fight pain, I can avoid it. I can walk into a fight and go, bing, bing, and slam somebody. I love the sound of this. Do that again, bing, bing. Bing, bing, and throw somebody and knock them unconscious and fight be over and no one even touched me. And I take more pain 
in regular life than I do in a controlled environment of sport, sportsmanship combat. I mean, you break it down so well, but okay, you have friends, you have family. We're family here right yeah, now. Yeah. This is my this is my home. I, you, when my brother called me, he said, "Mika, I'm gonna help you out." I, I shout out to Privileged One Construction. Shout out to my Irish twin that get on my nerves. Okay, y'all know my brother get on my nerves. They know he get on we their do. nerves. Okay, that's our job, Gil. Sis's nerves. Anyhow, he looked me up. He's like, "Sis, sis, sis, guess what? I got, I'm gonna hook you up." Your podcast, your podcast. I'm like, all right, whatever. What? <laughs> He's like, don't you want to show me? I'm like, what? Man, I'm with my kids. Leave me alone. <laughs> He's like, when are you available? I said, the podcast on Tuesday. What you talking about? He's like, well, I was, I was like, I can make it work. What is it? <laughs> I was like, we'll record. So that that's how he got here. But when it comes to friends and family and family, what do they think of it? What do they think? They about? actually think I'm absolutely sociopathic. And I'm going to tell you why. Local. We, we be the local. <laughs> I wrestled a bear in St. Petersburg, Russia. You on mentioned a that earlier. I, on a I, dare? Yeah. I have a scar right there on my deltoid. There was. Ooh, right. You yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> know, silly. Yeah. And so, what it is, why do they, they, they have to ask me, why? What's wrong with you? I said, what you mean, what's wrong with you? What you mean, what all is wrong with me? You sound like me, because I'll be like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, you live in a normal little basic ass life. I said, you, you staying in the lines. Are y'all listening? I'm painting, I'm painting the picture. I'm painting the picture. I'm painting many pictures of what I want. I'm not governed by normalcy. No one in history who's been normal, well behaved. Man, he's ever. not well behaved, sorry. We got Jesus. background noise. That's okay. Literally. Go oh, give us some snacks or something. Literally. Literally. If you ever think about people that were well behaved in history, do you know their name? Mahatma Gandhi, Muhammad Ali. Well, the behaved bitches did what? Jo Where are they in the history books? Jo I'm in jo this Bart. adult show, so. You think about it. Joan of Arc. She was not she considered well behaved at history. all. At all. And if you step outside the lines of what you're supposed to do. Color outside oh. the lines, y'all. He said color outside the lines. I'm just saying. In the, in the pandemic, though, we just want y'all to be safe, okay? In Chicago, especially, I'm just going to ask you to be a little bit safe. That's all. Can we yeah. just add a little disclaimer? Yeah, y'all, yeah, yeah, please be safe. Because literally, like, I, in other words, don't be like me because I flipped the truck over <laughs> on the 1994 going to the 55 and I walked away from the accident with a scrape on the back of my head. But that's, like with no seatbelt on. So, literally, I tell people I was supposed to do this, do that, behave. But you were supposed to behave? I was supposed to behave. Oh. I, didn't, I don't know how to really behave. I don't either. What for? Wait, I did. I did for four years at one place. A few years at some other. I've tried sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it's okay. I did the USMC. There's four places. And that's a hard place to be, the USMC. Yes, Uncle Sam's misguided children, or better known as <laughs> You Suckers Miss Christmas. <laughs> yes. Snaps to that if you do poetry. Oh, wow. Well, as you can tell, he's more than just one thing. I mean, I, I was somewhere in this line of questioning, I'm supposed to ask you, what more is there to you besides the fighting, besides MMA, besides getting beat up and yeah. strong people who just live outside the lines? Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm doing an art show at Chicago MMA June 19th. June 19th, Juneteenth, y'all. Juneteenth. Father's Day, Juneteenth, my grandmama's birthday. Mama's birthday, y'all. She gonna treat you Majin when she feels better. But Juneteenth is an important day. It's an art show that they come yes. to the art show. Where yeah. is it at? It's at 1528 North Hall State. And that's uh, at Chicago MMA. I'm also in the midst of working on a documentary on my life and career as a, as a homo sapien XY chromosome carrying child of God. And then, aren't, aren't all men that? 
I'm no, to wait. Some of them want to be non-binary and stuff. And I'm, I'm just kidding. Just I'm, kidding. I'm, just, I'm staying away because they don't. I don't want to stay Somebody away. might get me, and you. I'm sorry. My bad. I was. I was interjecting when I shouldn't have. My bad. I, I will. I was being a twerk. Anatomical, biological sciences. Mm -hmm. But also, I'm doing a talk show, filming pilots episodes of a talk show. What was it like being on a talk show? And actually, you've been on reality oh my TV. Oh God, it's cr okay. I've done Dr. I have Chief to say, Abel. I keep getting distracted by yeah. his glasses because I'm like, I want these. I want. I know. I want to have that. I'm sorry. Anyway, reality TV. Reality Let me get TV. Focus. Okay. He's distracting me with all his hardware and stuff. Right. So, <laughs> I did Dr. Keith Abel, and he was like the generic version of Dr. Phil. Generic, really? Well, no, I'm gonna say oh, alternative. Nice. Right. It was alternative. alternative. Okay. Alternative. Then I did Jerry. 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 He was the mayor. Y'all did. Do y'all know that? Yeah, Some mayor. of y'all should have known Some that. The, the nasty natty. My roommate right. is from the nasty natty. Right. Was that college? These are my roommates. These little. Yeah, people. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Mm -hmm. So I did that. I I was a defendant on. Um, defendant. I was a defendant on Judge Mathis. Mm -mm -mm. I won. Oh, okay. Woo! Yeah. Hey, hey. So I had done. <laughs> Winner circle. Right. <laughs> I did, I was a coach on BT, the BT. Iron Ring. I did Iron Ring on BT. I did. The, I don't uh, know that one. I I don't get to watch that much TV, and I used to work for a cable company. Ooh. I have to well, watch a lot of TV well, about a, everything. It was an MMA show with rappers as team on it. Oh, that one. sounds interesting. It, was it very, sounds like a hot mess. It was, it was, it was wow. Was it a hot mess? I'm talking about bubbling in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> we like certain kind of bubbles. Tiny bubbles in the... I'm going to give you a splash. Off, pretty, off camera stuff. Okay. Yeah, off, off camera. That, that means y'all ain't invited. So... On the show, pre-production. Pre-production. I was in training for the welterweight world title for the WEC. I broke training. Can I borrow your bill? Sure, it's oh, good. Okay. You can you borrow it. <laughs> so, hey, this is my exercise for today. Right. Mm -hmm. So I it broke is. training yeah. camp to go to this. Good on me too. Yeah, I, I, I went to. Tra I love training camp to go to this show. Are you oh. allowed to leave there? No, they, they tell you what to do. You no, know, my training coach, training partners, and coaches were mad, but I did it anyway. So he, they can't tell him what to do. I went down to Atlanta, Georgia, and I did the show. Well, pre-production, I'm down there still working out, hitting the heavy bag. Mm -hmm. None other Why than... Why are you in the heavy bag? Because it was the thing to do. It was oh. right there, and we were there. And I Everybody said, well, there. Okay, right. gotcha. So it was this big 300-pound heavy bag. 300? Sit, sitting on the floor, but it was still hanging. Mm -hmm. So it was swing if you punched or kicked it hard enough. Nobody believed I could kick a 300-pound heavy bag. What is so yeah. boom? People underestimate uh, people like us all the time, all day, every day. So I'm sitting in the bag, none other than Money Maker, Pretty Boy, Floyd Mayweather. Oh, TMT, the Money Weather team. Mm -hmm. They walk in, and I'm still like, What up, Chip Fosh, Kip Paso. Mm -hmm. And so everybody's like, What? Nanya? Katsi Mostavo Kupunesh. And they were like, What? Nanya? No, I let him in on it. Okay. I said that's Romanian and Bulgarian. It's important to know all kinds of uh, languages. We, right. did, we talked about Japanese earlier. Right. And, and my daughter wanted to learn French. My son's learning Mandarin at his school I'll in Chicago. It. Chicago Public Schools. They teach Mandarin at that one. They teach um, sure French at a different one. What you say? I should go sit in class. You should. They did welcome you. Hey, I'm you just to. tell me when. I'll, I'll contact the school, the whole team. Because if they know my son, they'd be like, Jules, mommy, I'll say. Outstanding. <laughs> to you. Right. So, Anyhow. Okay. I did the BT, did Jerry Springer, Keith Abel, Jerry Springer. Mm -hmm. I did one for the Oxygen channel. Oh, I like Oxygen. Called Hair Wars. <laughs> that sounds. <laughs> hair Wars. You got hair? I see it. No, that's, that's new growth. Oh. That's, Some people don't like new growth. Yeah. That's new growth. So, literally. They had to switch sides to keep with the balance. They had me, they, they tried to trick me because I was a hair wars model. I'm Modeling? Five, I was a model Modeling. for Paul Mitchell. The hat? Oh, I'm just kidding. 
Okay, now Paul Mitchell. Paul Mitchell, a Paul Mitchell focus. That is a fabulous products he has. Uh, I used to use the foaming pomade. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm throwing all of them logans and slogans out there. So they, they like it. They like us. And they That's asked the me the one thing to ask. They said, "Show me." I'm like, "Yes." Do you still have those little gold Roberto Cavalli speedos? Mm -hmm. I'm like, sexy, sexy. I got a question, and the lady was like, "Yes." How do you know about my Roberto Cavalli Speedos? And why are you asking? And so, well, we, we, we would like for you to wear your Roberto Cavallis. So I'm like, all right, all right, that's what I'm doing. We on TV, right? Mm -hmm. They ain't no way better than You do wore it. it on the TV show? They painted, they, you know, they dap you with that gold flaky stuff mm -hmm. and him put on the Speedo. You felt royal? And, no, it was hilarious. Uh -huh. All I've never been fondled by so many women <laughs> at the same fondled? time. Oh wow! And he's off the market, y'all. Don't get any ideas. Right. You better ask first. Right. You might get permission. Right. So fondled. I mean, from from tiptoes to scat, I am really. That's why he came in here. He heard fondling. He was like, "Oh." See, he's see. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. I'm not gonna explain it on air. Later, later. So literally. I was gold. Then he said, Oh, yeah, we're going to have you portrayed as Zeus. I said, Excuse me, man, listen, I know what I look like. Okay. I know what I look like and all this shit. Mm -hmm. I said, But I, I, I was an art major. Mm -hmm. And they were like, What's that or anything? Well, we took history. Mm -hmm. Key point Zeus was not black, Zeus was not bald haired. Great. Zeus was not wearing Speedos. He wore a toga, he was white, and he had hair. So I'm a cherub. A cherub? Those are cute. That's and they were like, no, no. I says, no. You're not going. I said, the, it's don't. It's his image. How are they going to tell you what to do? Tell me about it. So I said, I don't mind being a cherub. Just say I'm a cherub. With, 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 They're cute. With, with, with the Speedos. Men can be cute. Right. I said, I'm not in birds. Gold is I, wonderful. We yeah. like platinum. Right. Or I got this tungsten. It's very strong. And like anyhow, it's anyhow. Available. Sorry, I get yeah. distracted easily. Mm -hmm. So I did that. I did the oxygen. We can be nerds together. Right. It's mm -hmm. fine. It's I, fine. I know about tungsten. Mm -hmm. Everybody should. Yeah. So literally, I did the show anyway, and I'm walking around in my Marine Corps combat boots off camera, my Desert Storm boots, gold speedos, painted gold on the whole show. And everybody's like, you okay with this? And like, baby, this ain't nothing new to me. I've been on pay-per-view TV and much less. <laughs> and they were like, what well, can be much less than this? I mean, not gold. <laughs> so literally, as y'all saw on the highlight He's reel. He's a free spirit. Is that allowed in, yeah. in America? I'm a weird spirit. Is free weird and good? Free. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause if you are so, according to who according to yeah. his beautiful well you want to pop in <laughs> by the way she beats y'all lori come on <laughs> lori come on man she's the organizer uh, she was helping us yes um, <laughs> she got harley davidson on can she she's <laughs> gotta be awesome sauce come on right. harley and davidson both endorsed them I mean, what kind of was too what can you do? Yeah. Other than be fabulous, fantastic, so everything under the sun, queen of everything. Right. She's another queen of everything. Like literally. Y'all had to December 12th. Mm -hmm. It was 11.59, 59, 59 11, seconds. 59, yeah. mm -hmm. And she showed up without asking for $50 in gas. I'm saying, that's, that's an joke. amazing. <laughs> It can be inside joke, and I just co-sign anyway. Like, mm -hmm, what he, what they said right. was. Yeah. See what yeah. happened was. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So okay. you know, that's uh, falling off the rails. Yeah. Are we? No, we're focused. We have. A, we connected all at the end. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. get back let's on track. Track back. Yes. Mm -hmm. What's that? All right. So what's next is how many martial arts black belts? Yeah, because I thought we had some scrolling up there. It's scrolling a whole bunch of statistics and calculations about how fa fantastic and out of the ordinary he is, but you don't okay. know. They don't know. Michaela, show the next one. So I have seven black belts. I've done 19 forms of combat. 
Yeah, and a lot of times you ask me, so yeah, can you 19, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah Eli and y'all. No, I know all the time I get that. I get lots of people think I lie about myself. That's I, their business, though. I, I Is it our business? Hey, I'm not worried. I can't worry about what other people think about me. No, that's their business. There's a, there's a saying that will recite that none other than Sean Carter said. Hey, you, who's Sean Carter? Jay Z, baby! What you eat don't make me shit. That's a valid point. It's Anyhow, true. let's get back on so, track. So, I did folk style wrestling. I'm going to try to explain this. Okay. There was folk style wrestling, freestyle wrestling, freestyle. Greco Roman wrestling. Oh, that sounds fun. That's all throws. Throwing the shit good, throwing. especially if you're a mad, angry, not black woman, Blasian. I yeah. have more to me. Damn. Yeah, it's not about me. It's not about me. Then you had catches, catch can wrestling. Uh, which catches, I catch, from. catch wrestling. Catch. Well, it's called catch wrestling, but the full name was catches, catch can. That's then there three was three C's. Right. Mm -hmm. Then there was judo. Oh, I like judo. I yeah. did have keto. That's the do right. is the judo. Mm -hmm. Do okay. means the way up. The way up. You gotta yeah. flow with it. Right. People so, don't know. Was that five I don't want them to know all the stuff I know, but I. Do what world. you do. I right. do it all day. All day, every day. Then there was jujitsu. There jiu -jitsu. was combat go jujitsu. There was Japanese jujitsu. Then I've done. The Iranian. What is that one everybody into? Oh, the. Uh, um, Israeli Martin. Oh, Krav Maga. Krav Maga. I've not done. I've trained with him, but I don't say I've done Krav Maga even though I was with the Israeli army. Aren't all Israel. of them kind of somewhat tied like. There's elements. So. Club over the head, kick to the balls, grab your head, yank you down. That's it, y'all. You I mean, remember Flintstone when they yanked, or not Flintstone, the caveman? Yeah, I'm right. sorry, I just, <laughs> my brain. Right. Go ahead, anyhow. So then there was that. Mm -hmm. Then there was uh, Shidokan Karate, okay. Shotokan Karate, Gojuru Karate, Shoreru Karate, mm -hmm. Shotokan Karate. Didn't you say that already? No, there's Shido oh. Shoto. Gojuru, Gojure, Kyokushie. That's why he knows Japanese, y'all. Um, Kikito. So, <laughs> that's Spanish, y'all. Right. So, For those know, that don't know. I've done bare knuckle boxing. Mm -hmm. I've done Western boxing. I've done Muay Thai kick boxing. I made me feel like I need to go work out. Right. And I don't like to work I've out. I've done Chinese San Shao and San Da kick boxing. Mm -hmm. You done, like Bruce Lee, too, right? Actually, I'm in the same martial arts hall of fame as Bruce Lee. I didn't ask you that. I asked you I love if you like, okay, thank you. Because he was the forefather of mixed 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 guards. Anyhow, back to your list. Then there was Muay Thai kickboxing. Oh, I heard of that. Yeah, then I've done left way. Now that that's probably the craziest fighting style I can personally say. Because it's punches, elbows, knees, kicks to the body and head. You can even catch a kick. And throw a headbutt, and it's within the guidelines. Not rugby. I'm sorry. No, it's but you, once you get knocked out, that's not the end of the fight. <gasps> oh, yeah. shush! Sure. Sure, yeah. Shush! Shush! Get out! My daughter here. I was, I was like, yeah, curse, not curse. Anyhow. If you can get knocked out with a headbutt or get knocked out, they will wake you up and ask you for one. <laughs> oh, hell to the no! And okay. A, and and you, if you liked it, right? And there's no gloves. Cardi, Cardi B said, "You like it." <laughs> you like it. Right. <laughs> you liked it. Oh. Right, right. You must right. go like that. Okay. And then, then there was the whole MMA thing that I've done. Mm -hmm. And I tell people, like, when you do this sort of stuff, you become addicted. I've trained with Taekwondo stylists. I actually learned my sidekick, or commonly known better as Yoko Gary in Japanese for karate, is a sidekick. So is this, all this is leading to why you really did gladiatorial combat? Oh, in penetration. Yes, oh, yeah. that's, that's the I fought in the Coliseum. Yeah. <laughs> they lost track of numbers. Okay, in the yeah. Coliseum yeah. we did. Yeah, just like the movie 300. You can press wave to any of those questions. And it's crazy because right before the 96 Olympics, I literally enjoyed it all and do it. Did you? Yeah. Enjoys it all. I love it because I get to I was just talking about the training. ringer. Oh. The whole thing. Just oh, the whole shebang. The training. training. Yeah, Do you get to have fun? My God. It's so much fun. 
I believe he has yeah. fun. He's called Mr. International. Yeah, I tried. I tried. Look at his hat, yo. Look at the artwork. We have an art show to go. When you, go to, our, when you go to art shows, you know the people be a little shishi sometimes. They'll be like, so, what do you think of this art? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I was bored that day and I started drawing. Mm -hmm. And, and like, the, like this one right here. With the, um, with, with the lady on the wall. Sorry, we're talking about healthy snacks over here. Right. So, this lady right here is doing a handstand. Oh, wait, we got to turn the camera? Yeah, let me try to show you. Okay. I'm going to point to it. I'm going to be a man on why. She's doing a handstand with the lovely flowers. It's first time doing flowers. That's the first time I do flowers. And, and, and Lori told me about that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, the one to her right. Michaela, is it seen on the camera? Yes. This one. That's my first self portrait. This is in the way. That's okay. The can't the microphone's in the way. All right. That's my first self portrait. That's your self portrait. That's the first time I drew me. With the belts, I like it. Yep. Okay. Let's see. 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 Yeah, mm -hmm. and then the one is called uh, the self portrait. Mm -hmm. and that one is a self reflection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then this one here is called Little Red Running Through the Woods. It says fast on her shoe. Yeah. Boy! Yeah. That's boy for you. Okay. Yeah. We have a child. She's Two calling more. her shot. Mm -hmm. I like it. This one is called the Running Man. Wow! Oh, shit. <laughs> the yeah. running man came through from the right. Alright, I'm gonna bring it closer so y'all can see. The running yes, man. The running okay. And essentially like, These will all be on display though. Yes, yeah, these will all be at the art show. Okay. And she, and she oh, the, <laughs> the running man again. Y'all, yeah. I'm doing good with the 80 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, there's more to me than quiet. Yeah, there really is. You want to tell us anything more about that? I mean, you already told us you're off the market. You already told us how many kids you have. It, it, I mean, I, I did the first podcast was about how much dating sticks and how kids don't understand when it's not their place to be. Ask her. It's fine. You can eat. Um, dating after forty is. That was uh, nice. seems like pee in the water, but you're in the fifties now. But you yeah. clearly in your forties hated. Um, so tell me more about your, you know, that aspect of your life. Well, literally during the time of forties mm -hmm. and training, competing, and I'm working on an autobiography mm -hmm. as well as a documentary. That's a commitment. Yeah, and I have a transcript already. Just has to be edited, pictures inserted. Audio book, ebook, mm -hmm. hardcover, soft cover. I'm looking for an editor and a publisher. Mm -hmm. well, I love oh, I'd love to have But it's a, like more of a self publisher? Do you, do you want a major publishing house? I'm looking for any type of publisher. Oh, I got you. I got you. Okay. Anyway. Kid. Kid. I'm going to put the child in the art That's show. what happens in home studio. We don't mind. It's fine. Yeah, it happens. Mm -hmm. The idea of the you know, a subject of an autobiography or a documentary. It's crazy because I did not ever think. Isn't it really crazy too after all the life experiences you've yeah. been shared with me? Really? That's phenomenal. Okay. I ran at the Great Wall of China, I wrestled a band in Russia, climbed a pyramid of Giza. And, and you wasn't supposed to. That was yeah. part of the story with that big click with me and so they were like, and the police were like, I was like, oh, you weren't allowed. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, the police chased me. <laughs> In my head, I'm like, oh, we can do that? That's cool. I want to no, do it. And he was like, not allowed. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I was wearing a kilt and a top hat. And you know what the Irishman had told him anyway. Well, here's the crazy part. Is that I was I started off in Israel. Okay. And after praying on the, the, the Wailing Wall and walking on the Via Dolorosa, I literally wanted more. And that's why I say in spite of... I wanted more. Okay, so oh, let's talk about more. Yes. 
So you were the referee for the first MMA double knockout? Say oh, what? He wants to be the trailblazer of say what? I'm a part of it. And okay. it, it was crazy because I was a place called the Eight Seconds Alone. I want to read his book, y'all. I want to read his book. When it come out, like, and he got autographed for me, I'm sure. Yes. From the cradle to the cave. <laughs> from the cradle, cradle. We already know the title, working title. Yeah, from the cradle to the cave. Mm -hmm. And okay. literally, when you see these stories and you hear these videos, I'm over here like we need a shot. Shit. Right. I mean, yeah. shoot, my daughter's here, but she knows when adults speak their adult words and their adult drinks, and kids do what they do on the playground, but not in front of mommy. I got myself apple juice just so I can feel fancy. Oh, <laughs> God bless you. By the way, I'm gonna drop a few nuggets on you. Drop the word. Excuse me. The word. The acronym. Shit. It's not a curse word. It's an acronym. Mm -hmm. During the times when they would ship supplies on wind sail boats, giant. You doing a shot Well, when they would ship manure, they would put it towards the front of the ship, and it was leave it there. Well, when you were if you were a, sh a ship you want steward, the or you want the, the simple one? they would tell you to go down beneath the bottom of the ship and go get some supplies. Well, back in the day, they didn't have flashlights. What did they have? Candles? Candles. Torches. Candles and torches. Yes. Well, when you put manure on the bottom of a ship, on the floor of a ship, the wood would slowly be per water with Wait, coconut. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm random like that sometimes. Sorry, yeah, my bad. Just, 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 just. Yeah, it's good too. <laughs> so when water will permeate house. through the Most pitch good. and tar of wood, mm -hmm. the manure would get wet. Well manure That's gets sticky. well here's the worst part. Fermentatious gas mm -hmm. would exude from the manure. If you open the door, oxygen goes into the bottom of the ship with a lantern, which is an open flame. Fermentatious gas, boom! The ship would blow up and the ship would sink. We don't want that. So, what they did, they got smart at losing ships. They would wrap the manure in wax paper and build shells. Why do you know all this random stuff about fighting and this is what I do. It's just things. But they will put the Lori gonna pose the question to you. Go ahead, okay. They will put, After he finishes this. Okay, part. so they will put the, the manure on shelves mm -hmm. and wax paper and write on the wax paper S H I T mm -hmm. Ship High in Transit. Okay! Now I throw all your knowledge and your all your fighting experience and your personal training. Yes. You've been studied at the site of sports performance enhancement centers in yes. Vegas, Japan, and what's the third location? Hell here in Vegas. Yes. They've studied I'm your sure. yeah, you, your just, input, yeah. output, everything that you do. Yes. So, so how is that possible? Right? That you She's do gonna repeat the question, training. but I want you to know women yes. run a yes. lot of things. I'm not gonna say the world because mm -hmm. Everybody, there's balance to it, but when you have a, a wonderful, strong woman next to you, yes. you can accomplish so much, mm -hmm. and you need to appreciate women, and not just on International Women's Day, not on Mother's Day, every, every day. day, and the same goes for men. men. It works both ways, right. so I just wanted y'all to make sure you could see when it's a balanced relationship. Anyhow, yeah, yeah, pose the question you. again. But I needed y'all to see how this works because we're gonna give you guys layers and some people will get it, some people won't. But that's okay because we're gonna help you learn to evolve. So we're gonna start over with the question, but I want y'all to understand the background of what's important when it comes to building a family. No, it's not your turn. You're 36 years of fighting. Yes. Being studied for sports performance enhancement center. What have you learned to teach your clients in health and fitness and to Carry on. The, one of the most important things that people tend to overlook is 
your day-to-day -day diet and rest. And a lot of times people take for granted your nutritional intake. And there will be a thousand, and one, even in the National Library of Congress, there are over a thousand diets under registry. And no matter what you think of what diet is or nutritional intake, caloric metabolization, you should understand that what you put in your mouth governs you and whatever you're eating is what you shall become. I don't care what you saw so about your vegan or vegetarian. Have you seen a sumo wrestler before in Japan? Wow. I've seen, I have. I was in Tokyo, Japan. Two of them walked down the sidewalk. They cleared the sidewalk. We all stepped into the street, not out of courtesy, because we had to. Because an object in motion shall remain in motion until acted upon by an outside force. That's not one of the news laws of motion and matter. But things like when I teach like basic fundamental fitness and understanding what that is measured will often improve. And therefore, I will do measurements before starting understanding the dietary intake. And literally, on basically month to month measurements on knowing what you're eating that would be reaching progress. People say, well, why did you know that? I said, because once you're at home, don't you have to go to work? Or do you work from home? I said, well, if you have to walk out your door, you got to know where you're going. Once you get there, you got to know how to get back. Therefore, I tell people this. If you do not know to measure where you start from, you'll never reach your goal. And that's why, even in martial arts, we all started off as a white belt. Mm -hmm. Yep, I did. I have and a white literally, belt. I do. I could go get it, but I don't want to. <laughs> the progression <laughs> to what you are, to where you want to be versus, versus what you were. And I, I'll tell you what this. I'm going to give you a sweet short gem, a premise of four. Your actual body weight multiplied by your body fat percentage will give you pounds of body fat. Say it again, say it again. Your actual body weight multiplied by your body fat percentage will tell you how many pounds in body fat you have. Then you will take your actual body weight and subtract those pounds of body fat and that will give you a lean body mass. That's skin, skeleton, organ, lean muscle, five pints of blood, capillaries, arteries, and veins. Then you want to look at, at 0%. You cannot be 0%. You can die if you're at zero percent. Trust me. We don't want to die yet. No. And maybe some people do, but we we gonna we're do gonna suicide suffer. prevention for you. It is no. um the nat the mental health and awareness month this month. Mm -hmm. It is. It's critical. Right. Uh, so we've got nice. we're about fifty three minutes into the broadcast, but honestly, uh, personal insight. Like I know we're we're really highly highlighting Mr. International. But I'll, I'll share a personal tidbit because I try to every podcast. <clears throat> I've done the suicide prevention walk. And also when I was going through the early stages of my custody uh, issues, I had to go to NAMI, the National Association for Mental Institute, something, N-A-M-I, look it up. But that's how I got my therapy in. And I, I'm a firm believer in therapy. I'm an advocate for it. However... I say that you have to find the right therapist, and I have I have to say that I prefer the coaching experiences I've had over my therapy. I will explicitly state that, but therapy has had a, has had a place in my life, so I support it. But it's not my first choice. Exercise it was an excellent source of therapy and releasing. You listen to those endorphins and to have fun that you accomplish something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, almost forget. So real quick. Well, I was there, so I tend to forget stuff. But remember stuff. CRS, I suffer from it too. Can't remember shit. Yeah. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So okay. you take the lean body mass. It don't matter what age you are. I have right. a thought. You, your lean body mass number. Mm -hmm. Divide that number by five. 
That's the number of grams of protein you should be ingesting three to five times a day. I don't want to do all that. Why do I have to do all this counting and math? Well, now, don't I hire somebody for that like you? That's what we do because, yeah, because that's why I got Anyone who knows me, Tamika will rock climb, shoot. I had a personal trainer once. And he, he did like martial, he knew I like martial arts. I forget what, what all we incorporated. I want to be in a stinky gym. At the end of the day, if you make sure I'm not in a stinky gym with men ogling what my body look like, and if I'm the type and the tatas look good and they don't look good, and what you, some people like the booty, TMA, some people like the T, some people like the A, some people like TMA. Well, I want to be part trend, of that. Man. That's the truth. And then you got to go to Brazil and get a BBL, and then I can't do all that. I got no, kids, I'm tired, that. and I, and God gave me this. And I like it. If you don't like it, you can get step off. I laugh about that because in the weight room now, that's because Instagram models are made the girls do seven <laughs> <Not> eight reps <laughs> with, the, with the kettlebells about the eight little. <laughs> they're they, tiny? they real tiny. And it's a big muscle. That's a part of your core. Your core most of your core pretend is behind work. you. It's pretend work. No, I laugh because they do seven and nine reps because they only give you 30 seconds to do reps. And then they and just Only 30? That's enough to me. 30 no, can be do. real long if you're doing a plank. Tell me I'm wrong. No, Tell no. me I'm wrong. A plank and you need to count every second of the plank. Like, I oh laugh. my God. And you don't let me out of this. Right. I laugh because the women now tuck their shirt in the back and they and they, they do half reps and they'll, they'll do a photo shoot. And they'll run to the ladies room and do Photoshop photo shoots. Photoshop. You heard no, that part, right? Good. Listen, Photoshop. Don't believe it. Anyhow, with, I'm sorry. With the uptight types, with the pockets on the booty, to give the, the image of bigger. I laugh. And, and the reason why is because I brought it up to Miss Laura here. And she's like, would Chuck Norris approve of these things? I Chuck, mean, you're in the Hall of Fame of Bruce Lee, but we failed to mention Chuck Norris because he's American, right? Yeah, he's from he's, America. He's American. So people know Chuck <laughs> Norris, they might know him better than they do. My, my, my fellow Asian persuasion, Bruce Lee. Anyhow. Yeah. Anyhow. Would Chuck Norris approve of these people in the, in the mirror? Like, oh, well, look at my... I'm going oh, to talk sorry, to Chuck me. Norris and ask. Next time I see Chuck, I'm gonna ask Chuck what he said. What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out his booty something. I'm fuck, stay tuned. We're gonna get come right back. He might come back on the show, yo. I'm it depends if he's available and whatnot, because we had the party. I'm gonna talk to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Because it's a party. Yeah. Hey, talk about Schwarzenegger. I've been like total recall. Shit, I need that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I might bring me random in the like, okay. oh. I'm gonna talk to Grandmaster Samuel Quas. Okay. Bruce for number one student. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm going to talk to the council. Well, we got to do our shot o'clock. I'm going to ask one last question, and then yes. we can just do a potpourri of who feels like being random. But how many bites do you think, you know, I've actually acquired over the years in total? My combative engagement account is damn near... It's over six hundred. Six seven hundred. That's a lot. Well, I figured high school wrestling. What do most people do? Most average or not under even, average. Not even a hundred. Wow, that's phenomenal. Yeah. And, He's not average. Uh, no, we don't want him to be average. Yeah, not, I don't want him average. I mean <laughs> average people can be on the show, don't don't get me wrong. I'm just saying. I, like I made a video ways. game as myself. <laughs> We want yeah. you to just be you. Artistic fighter. I like it. And that's what I want if you to like it, I love it. That's yeah. what they say sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then coming to America, they'd be like, whatever music you like. I'm mm -hmm. like, yeah, whatever yeah. music I like. Bark like a dog. Big dog and little dog. No <laughs> <laughs> dog. Arf, arf. <laughs> Listen, y'all want more of this, right? So, All day, every day. Y'all can follow Wait, me he's on not Instagram. available, but I, I'd be trying to be. Sometimes I'd be like, yeah, he, he looks like he's my man. I'm available. Come on. I'm sorry. Just kidding. Focus. I thought you, what, what were you saying? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got distracted. I'm like, who can I get? No, I can't. Mm -hmm. You can follow me on Instagram, <laughs> Facebook. You know the rules you're supposed to like, subscribe. subscribe. Follow, comment, right. share. Right. 
I'm also no merch. My kids say, tell Michaela say it so they can hear you. All the things you remind mommy. No. So about the merch. No. So it's like, subscribe, follow merch. Right? Do they do it right? Yeah. I I don't always I don't do the merch because I'm not allowed on camera. Y'all. You just listen real close to her voice. Yeah. So I don't do merch because I'm still trying to figure a couple We're more. We're not things about out. you. I'm reminders. Yeah. But um. Yes, just kidding. My baby has a YouTube channel, the best, the best smart cookies channel. She just hasn't posted, so that's why mommy ain't going all in there. And she knows and loves me. She knows mommy just be trying to focus her mind. So what were we doing? We my mommy's supposed to like do subscribe, subscribe, and notification bell are the main oh, notification bell. That are... That's new. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. like subscribe, notification bell, and then. And then, then there's merch. And merch. And my merch, I was so excited because the logo was fantastic. And then Michaela said that I didn't, um, I, I didn't prove well. It was learn. <laughs> it's shh. You don't see me. She told on me, y'all. <laughs> she ran you out. She <laughs> did it. I was fixing though. It happened. Mistakes. <laughs> Suplex in sequence. Mm -hmm. All right. Then do you have a TikTok? I've started my TikTok. You got page. Snapchat? We got I don't have Snapchat. Okay. I got, you got Vimeo, TikTok. you got Tumblr. You got, you I got, got all that. I got I'm trying to remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's too much. That's too much. You can find me in Chicago MMA or at Sam Cole and Boxing. Oh, oh, I tell you what. <laughs> this is what you can do. I just tell you what we're gonna do. 312 978 0782. Text me. Hey, get the number out. You got the digits on Light Fire Starters Podcast. What up, no? Okay, he made it real easy on him. But no, for real. Facebook, IG Times 2, and YouTube. Those are major. Shoney Carter at Yahoo. Yeah. Oh, email. Not email. Real Shoney Carter at Gmail. You can email me. Spell my name right. <laughs> Please get it right. Reading is fundamental. Reading is very fundamental. Oh, wait. We don't even have your. your we just have it, Mr. International Party Star. <laughs> Let me help y'all out. And your business so, email is. Oh, Shorty Card International. International. I had a few drinks. I might not Shorty spell this Carter. right. <laughs> you got to oh, spell it for him. Shorty Card, the international one. That you that's, that's the business one. Yeah. The business one is. Okay. Shorty Card. The international one, just the number one. After the be the word international. Yeah, the international. With the number one. one. Just the number one. Uh -huh. At Gmail. All right, I'm only giving y'all one of those. He gave me his number. He gave me like multiple email addresses. Y'all didn't get it. It's three one two nine seven eight zero seven. Y'all special. Y'all lucky. You know about the Life Fire Starts podcast. You really are. Mm-hmm. We gonna have some more fun. All day, every day. And birthday shots, 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 shot, 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 shot o'clock. My BDP family, virtual day parties family. I was telling, so I'm going to go ahead and pub in the zone podcast. I was telling them that was the first podcast I went on. And my virtual day party, my BDP fam put me up on that. 
So we do shot o'clock in BDT. Shot o'clock, happy no, birthday. birthday. Tour season! Woo! Mm. What did we do? We did uh, have some. That was smooth, bitch, right? Very good. Have some Migos tequila. I thought yeah. it was good. I actually, it was was, I was expecting a little more harsh. I'm hoping y'all give me a call. Yeah, Shoot, George Clooney, hit me up. Don't tell them all. We'll I won't tell. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, yeah. We'll see George Daniels tonight. Me they work with the grid. They have somewhere else to go, but I appreciate them so much. Yeah. So. Clooney, he works with BJ Madrid. <laughs> so we appreciate y'all. What I want BJ you to Madrid, know what's up, yo? is this is family, and I believe that the world needs more love. Every time I listen to the news and the propaganda and, and people trying to scare you into this or scare you into that or buy this or buy that, this is love right here. So love, inspire, teach, evolve is about bringing us together to walk in the light. Um, I, I admittedly, am, I'm religious. I'm spiritual and religious. I'm Catholic, which people most of the time don't like us Catholic, but but Catholic means learning. You, you, you pray like this, correct? I do like this, and I do like this, and then I just hands, talk to God. And... Your hands are pointed up. Mm -hmm. so uh, or some people do like this. Well, my mom taught me. I didn't confirm Catholic until I was in my 20s, so I was an adult confirmation person. But my mom always said, God hears your prayers anywhere. Exactly. And I went to a lot of non-denominational. I had some Baptist influence. I went to school in the dirty, dirty. All I need y'all to understand is that you have to tether yourself to some faith, whatever you like, Buddha, you like Islam, you like um, whatever, maybe all the Hindu gods, you can like whatever you like. But I feel that being grounded in my faith, whether I was non-denominational, whether I was Catholic, whatever I was in the moment, it got me through some really tough times. Y'all know, last month was Me Too Movement Month. I'm a rain seeker. I, I had that experience with Me Too. As shared with you, I have a therapist. I don't, I keep telling her, I don't want to meet with you every damn week. Can we cut this down once a month yet? I've been waiting for that call. I'm like, can we? I, am I doing good yet? And man, doing great. <clears throat> I'm always doing great. But it helps. I won't even deny it. I'll be like, good God, thank God I got that call. I'll be like, Oh, I didn't think I was going to need it, but she's on the calendar. So I'm just saying, when we find the light, because there are some people in darkness. Shoot, I'm in Chicago. Somebody died in Chicago. Somebody died up in New York or some, somebody died everywhere. But when there, where there is darkness, they're seeking the light. Let's love, inspire, teach, evolve. So that we can find the light together. Oh, and, and Lori's trying to remind us he, he does more. He does, he does more. This is how bad it is. Teaching children as well. Yeah. Teaching them what? Martial arts. When we were working with children in San Corona boxing. Underprivileged kids. Under, underprivileged children, yes. And you know what? They underprivileged for now, but they're gonna be privileged for life when he's done with them. You got five of them that just signed up today. That's amazing. Five kids that are going to elevate, that are going to soar, that are gonna find the light. And I want you to know, like I was telling them. so this is all personal. I was telling Shawnee, like, I miss my martial arts. I want my kids. We wanted to do a family type thing, but I have this challenge of I have two different parenting schedules. They're kind of aligned because I did do that right. Right. I tried my best. Um, but you need, need consistency in your life. So we're going to work on that. But I'm proud of knowing him and knowing that these kids are going to get that from him. But we all need to love each other, inspire each other, teach one another. It's a balance. It's a give and a take. It's not a gimme, 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 and a take, 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 so that we can evolve. Whatever evolve means to you, it could be riding in a circle on a horse. It could be going in a spaceship around the globe. I don't care what it is, how you frame it, but let's love each other, let's inspire each other, let's teach each other, let's evolve. I love angel wings, that's why it's in my logo. The blue flame was intentional because to me it could be a little hot sometimes, so I had to make it not red. And I want y'all to know that I love you. I want us to all inspire each other. Let's teach each other. And at the end of the day, we're going to evolve and party, party, party with Mr. International. Hey, this was fun. Love y'all. Thank you. Any last words? Anything else he forgot?
anything, 312-978-0782 for training rates and availability. Click the red button. And you can literally follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Shoney Carter uninterrupted on YouTube. Or hit me up. I'll hook you up. You won't mind. It's all good. All right. Y'all have a good night. Have a great night. And broadcast. Hey, hey, hey. Literally, overtime.